Hey guys, it's Joni from SimpleLivingMama.com and I am here today to give you an overview of the Good and the Beautiful Math Level 1 as well as to talk about the Level 1 slash 2 activity box that is used with the curriculum and to show you how I have it organized so far. Now to be fair, um, my son has not started using Level 1. I can't give you a review or anything like that but if it's anything like level K I know that we're gonna love it and it it looks a lot like level K um, it has the same feel as level K and it looks really really fun to be honest so I'm gonna flip the camera around we're gonna do a little bit of a flip through talk about what's included with the curriculum and all of that fun stuff all right guys so here is the Good and Beautiful Math Level 1, Course Book Part 1, Course Book Part 2, and the Activity Box, along with how I have organized the manipulatives that come in this Activity Box. So let's go ahead and dive right in to Math 1. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love this ocean theme that they have going on with um, this level. So we're going to open it up here. Of course, we have the table of contents, which lays out um, everything that's going to be covered in the curriculum. Uh, this curriculum is divided into four sections. Course book one has section one and section two. So in section one, you're going to be doing addition and subtraction, and it tells you what each lesson is about. And then in section two, you're still gonna be working with addition and subtraction. Here we have the math education philosophy. This is also what is included in the level K course book. And we have a level one at a glance. So here are the course prerequisites. Um, pretty basic stuff. This is everything that's gonna be learned in level K. I do think, um, I'll have to go and check, but I do think they might have some sort of supplement or something you can do to um, if your child has not taken level K or that might be with level K. Anyway, I will go and check that and it will be included in um, the blog post just so I can uh, make sure that they do have something for that to make sure that your child is where they need to be to start this course. So what are the course objectives? There's number recognition. We're going to be working on numbers 0 to 100 in this course. Number sense and operations, add and subtract within 20. Saw various types of addition and subtraction. Word problems, solve equations with three add ins and sub sums up to 20. And I'm not going to read everything, but you can see that right there. And then over here, we're doing patterns, algebra, geometry, fractions, measurement with graphing, measurement with length, measurement with time, and then measurement with money about this course. Here are all of the items included with the course. Now, these are digital items, so you would have to download these to the answer key and the MP3 song downloads. Here are all of the items that are included in the course, or the activity box. The activity box is used with both levels one and level two. Standard supplies to always have on hand. These are basic um, school supplies, you know, pencils, crayons, staplers, glue sticks, all of that stuff. They also want you to have a dry erase pocket sleeve. I will have a link to one of those down below. We use those all the time. A personal dry erase board, dry erase markers, an eraser or cloth, sticky notes or paper clips to mark pages, and you need a 12 inch ruler. Um, additional materials needed for part one. So these are additional items that are needed for particular lessons. So we have cereal, raisins, candy, or Play-Doh. This is optional. Paper clip, five pieces of scratch paper, four pieces of scratch paper. Small items, beans, buttons, beads, etc. White paper, internet access, optional. Plates, cups, bowls, and silverware, optional. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Um, they have a transition, transition lesson. So if you're new to the Good and Beautiful Math, your child did not take, uh, did not complete level K, then they do have transitional lessons that you can do. So I don't need to go back and find that for you. That's right here in the course book. 
This course includes 119 lessons and there's a daily um, math routine that I talked about in my last video. It's the same as um, the level K daily math routine, um, daily dose section, and then the lesson with direct instruction, a student worksheet, and then a bonus independent activity. Okay. You can have uh, flashcards if you would like, that's totally optional. You can do math facts activities, that's totally optional. Um, we like to do extra math for math facts and that is online. There are section and course assessments as well. So I'll give you just a little look at what it looks like inside. So here's section one, addition and subtraction. Starts off with a little story and then you move directly into the lessons. So this daily dose, you're gonna be working with a planner, which I'll show you here in a little bit. You're gonna be working with a place value chart, which is the same as what's in level K. And um, then you just have some other little activities to do. And then you move right into the lesson. So this lesson is on the months of the year. So this is something you do with the child. You sit down, you tell them about it. There's a little poem. And then once you're done going through the lesson, the child does the student worksheet and then they can work on the bonus independent activity. This is from the math activity box. Here's a look at that first worksheet. Reviewing spelling of numbers. Beautiful illustrations here. And then that's just how it looks from then on. And my son loves this style. It just, it's fun for him. He says that this is his favorite subject by far. I'll show you in the back um, the appendix. So let's go to the appendix. See what they've got back here. Sorry about all the flipping. Here's an assessment, the last assessment in this book. how much your child has learned okay and these are just um, sheets that will be used with individual lessons throughout the course so they're here in the back for you A part part whole mat another part part whole mat Times activities, that's interesting. Okay, I'll show you inside part two, which is not nearly as thick as part one. It's still pretty thick though, it's substantial. Part two, we're gonna be doing another two sections. Section three is measurement and more. Section four is numbers to 100. We're gonna have additional materials needed. And then it's going to start out with a little story and then move directly into the lesson. Yeah, that looks fun. Moon math. So, see, it's just all of the lessons are varied, they're colorful, this curriculum is affordable. Here's a look at the appendix. Ooh, we got some dollar bills back here. All right, so now let's jump into the math activity box. This math activity box is quite a bit smaller than the level K. With a level K activity box, I could fit a lot of stuff in there. If I wanted to add a course book to it, I could. This is considerably smaller. I do keep materials in the original activity box. I mentioned in my previous video, we have large fabric storage cubes for each of our children. So um, I put all of their school supplies in those fabric cubes and we just pull them out and use them. 
um, throughout the day. So I don't feel like I need a latch mate container for each subject for each child. That would be way, way too much. Um, so I just, I put everything in his fabric storage cube. So this is the math activity box. I'll show you inside. So it comes with um, this really cute little clock. And then I talked about these baggies in my last video. When you put the manipulatives in here, they rip pretty easily when you're opening them. So what I've done so far, I don't know that I'm gonna keep it this way. I had planned to, I, I um, took apart all of the game cards and I put them in these baggies instead of the actual manipulatives. And that way um, I was hoping to minimize ripping the bags and I was just gonna remove the little stickers. I don't know that I'm gonna keep it this way, um, but so far this is how I have it. So all of the game cards are in these baggies. So there's three sets of game cards. I have them in there. Here is the place value chart. Um, I haven't put it together yet. It comes with these little stickers for the pockets. And then here are the base 10 bricks that would not fit in my um, craft organizer. So these are in a bigger bag here. Okay, now let's get into these things. I have seen moms bind these into little books. There's all kinds of neat ways to store these. So far, what I think I'm probably gonna end up doing is just rubber banding them and then keeping them in a large Ziploc bag. So I have these um, pattern block cards in order here. I have these Junior Explorer cards. And these are kind of weird. Like, I don't know how you could bind them and make them look okay. Because here's card Junior Explorer number one. There's Junior Explorer number two. But on the back of number one, you got number four. So I'm not entirely sure how that would work out. And then here are these Tangram cards. So I think that would just be, I don't know. If you could, if you had a binder, I have a comb binder, so it wouldn't lay flat if I tried to bind it. If you have something like a pro click and you could get it to lay flat, you could bind it and it would be okay, I think. And then I also have the game instructions in here. It comes in a booklet like this. And then all of the, um, the number lines and these um, pen frames. Let's see. Now it's 20 frame. What am I thinking? <laughs> The 100 chart, brick laying in progress, hundreds, tens, and ones. And these are, you can laminate them and make them more sturdy. Um, they're kind of thin, but they are laminated. So I think they'll be okay as is. I'm not, I, I want to do as little as possible as far as prep work goes. I, I'm not one of those moms that wants to laminate all of the things because I just don't have that kind of time. To laminate and cut everything out. Okay, another 20 frame. And then these will have to be cut out. Um, I keep these in an envelope for level K. These go with the uh, place value chart. And then here's the planner. Comes with stickers. So this is really neat. I know my son's gonna really enjoy this. The course book tells you how to use that. Let's see, and then I have a divider, haha, uh -huh. and all of the game boards. So these are all of the various game boards, and this is why you need the dry erase sleeve because you're going to um, use dry erase marker with a lot of these, and you're going to just pop them into that dry erase sleeve, so that way you don't get the game boards all gross. So just trying to give you a quick little overview. Tons of games. So if your child likes to play games, this is the curriculum for you. Okay, now that I've shown you all of that stuff, let me show you what I've done 
for the manipulatives. So I got this craft organizer at Hobby Lobby and I divided up all of the little manipulatives. So here we have the little um, eggs, I guess. These are little eggs. I put them all here, put all of these pieces, like marbles, in this section. And you can um, change the dimensions of these dividers. So seashells in here, tangram pieces, fraction pieces. These are really good quality too. They're nice and sturdy. The little wooden shapes. They're so neat. And then kept these in the bag, game pieces. And just set it in here. And then you get a really cute little measuring tape. And then game cards that I haven't taken out. Domino cards. And that's it. And I'm going to just keep these things in my son's um, fabric bin. Well, it's acting weird, isn't it? Why aren't we shutting probably this stuff here? There we go. And that'll be that. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a good overview of what is included in the Good and Beautiful Math Level 1. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the description box or the comment box below. I have mommy brain today. <laughs> it's the end of the day and I'm tired. Um, just leave them down there. I will get back to you. Um, if I don't know the answer, I will do my best to find out the answer for you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy homeschooling and bye.